Hey everyone, Coach Megan here, and welcome to this episode of the Powerhouse Podcast. I am coming to you live from the Mom Mobile. I am three weeks postpartum as of yesterday, and little Willow Girl came three weeks early, so it was kind of fun and funny and weird to celebrate like her due date and thinking of what it would be like for her to have arrived on her actual due date because so much happens in the first two or three weeks of having a baby. It's wild. So. Today, I want to talk about time management. I know that can seem like a really boring topic, but let me tell you, first of all, I have a whole new respect for moms and how they get literally anything done. Because for example, my child, although she is a doll and a sweet baby angel, today she was not having it. And I pretty much cluster fed her like every 45 minutes on the 45 minutes. And if she was not being held, she was screaming her vocal cords out. So as a mom now, which is kind of fun to finally identify really with like earth side, even though you have nine months to prepare for that or, or me eight, eight months pretty much, which was a hilarious shock to my husband, by the way, the funniest thing. My husband was like, okay, I did not plan for this at all. LOL. Um, but just time management has a whole new meaning because you are at the, beck and call of your newborn, right? And when you love something, you attend to it, you care to it, and you supply their needs, right? And we joke in my family, because my my sister's breastfeeding right now too, she has a a baby exactly five and a half months older than Willow. Um, Baby Jojo was actually born on the 13th, which was Willow's due date of August 13th. He was born February 13th. And so they would have been exactly six months apart. Now they're you know, five and one, five months and one week apart. But anyways, we talk about these things all the time because she's also breastfeeding. And you just think about how much you love your child, how much you're there for them. And when they're crying or when they have a need, there's just something so immediate, like inside of you that bursts into action like a superhero. And it's so interesting because I've always been a person who's taken action. I've always been a person who has a good sense of the immediacy of things, right? Like you, you've heard me say on pretty much every podcast the last eight weeks, like leaders take action, consistency and certainty comes from action and confidence comes from certainty, right? On any strategy call that you have with my team, you're going to hear that as well. You're going to hear it in all my messaging. You're going to see it on the website because it, there's no way around it, right? But it's interesting being a mom, there's a whole new level of urgency and part of time management is being able to create that internal urgency and to put down the notion of waiting for someone to pass you the baton or God to give you a signal or a sign or really anything externally outside of you giving you the baton, like I said, or the validation or permission to be able to take action on your dream. And that's something that I've learned so much in motherhood, right? Like I I made a, a goal at the end of my maternity leave to be able to have my 30 day devotional done, which I'm so excited to release in the marketplace. We're going to mark my words. We're going to have it on, you know, Kindle and audible and all these things by the end of the year. And then I'm also working on drum roll, exciting announcement, an audio book for you guys. That is a free pageant book that you guys can go through. And so we'll rock and roll with our free course. If you haven't gotten that yet, go to the show notes and grab that and also the free audiobook that you guys can really just get to know my system, get to know me, get to know, you know, what can you expect when you join Powerhouse? Because my goal is that it's what you see is what you can what you get when you join the family, when you invest in yourself, you're like, okay, this is exactly what I expected. This is cool. This is the same vibe and all that. But going back to what I was saying before, it's crazy how point being in motherhood, I have had to find completely new rhythms you guys like I used to be so consistent I mean you can ask my team like I think it was coach Kendra who was over at my house one day or just looked at my schedule or something I don't remember and for some reason she like kind of saw behind the curtain I mean all my team can see my calendar they know what I do every day but there was like a defining moment where Kendra was like dude I actually like saw everything you got done today holy crap, how did you get, like, how do you focus for that long? How do you get this done? And I'll tell you, you know, I have ADHD and it has been very intentional. It has been very prayerful, first of all, too. 
And I made a decision, you know, when I first started my business, I was definitely not this consistent whatsoever. I remember sitting in the beginning of a day and being like, what the heck does a CEO work on? Like, what am I supposed to do? How do I prioritize things? Like, what is the most important? But in a business, I learned that the revenue generating activities were always the most important because if you don't have sales, then it doesn't matter how great your client success is. It doesn't matter how great your automations, your operations, you know, or shiny on the outside, everything is if you're not making sales or you're a fraud and you don't actually have a great product, then your business is not gonna last very long, right? And then I would say secondarily to sales is making sure that you can fulfill, that you're taking care of clients well. And when you have a really, really great product, it causes you to have to sell and market less because word of mouth naturally will spread like wildfire. So anyways, I learned this over the past 10 years and what's interesting is then motherhood smacked me in the face because I was not planning on delivering at 37 and one, 37 weeks in one day. That's what that means, by the way, for you non-moms. And it was a reckoning. You know, she spent four days in the NICU and, and then we take that baby home and all of a sudden you are not sleeping at all. And your sense of control is completely bombarded by this human that needs you 24 seven that your heart just loves and adores and time stops when you look at them and you're figuring it all out and your hormones are going crazy and your body is going crazy and you know there's fluid coming out of every part of your body postpartum pretty much and you're learning how to breastfeed and you're learning what your baby's cries mean and it's it's very overstimulating and you might be going through a season of change right now where you just feel massively overstimulated you feel like everybody needs you wants you is grabbing at your attention and it's just massively overwhelming and so i'm here to tell you that I've, i i'm going through that right now and that's where it's so important and even if it's 10 minutes five minutes 15 minutes checking in with yourself and making sure that you know if you're not a mom yet which I mean, I, I hate to say this, you guys, but I don't I don't believe anyone's busier than a mom. That's why I hire moms, because they're so freaking efficient and amazing, and they just know how to juggle 17 hats at once. I respect the living crap out of them for it. And 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 so I, if you're not a mom, I promise you, you, you have more time than you probably think that you do. And part of it is just asking the Lord and submitting to the Holy Spirit like, hey, I, I need help. I, I don't have the answers that I feel like I need. And Holy Spirit, I need you to come in and give me ideas for how to not just get through this season, but to thrive in this season. And those are a lot of the questions that I've been asking. And for example, Willow slept all of three hours last night and three hours like at once. And it felt like a gift from God. And so it's, it's so cool because when you make a decision to be intentional, and you make a decision that you are, you know, we're going forward. We've chosen this dream. We're like, I'm, I'm creating my own urgency. We're going to make this happen. Like, no matter what the cost is, like, I'm going to manage my time. I'm going to get through. I'm going to become the next level version of myself, these different things. Strategies will naturally reveal themselves and you'll be able to operate with, with less and still do more. Right? So I've still gotten done, you know, five or so days of my devotional in the first 16 has been 16 no 22 days postpartum um and i've still been able to get a bunch of things done for powerhouse uh, at, like separate from my team and kind of barely barely work but also give my team what it needs for me right and things like that and so sometimes kind of landing the plane here when you add urgency or you add constraints is another word to say it constraints are really healthy because again you show yourself what's possible and chances are you probably convinced yourself that something isn't possible in the time frame that you have or by the due date that you have or with the skill set that you have. But I highly encourage you to create as much internal urgency as humanly possible and to challenge yourself and ask the Lord, you know, what what is possible? What what could be possible for me? What am I not seeing right now that I need to level up? I need you to show me this next level. I need you to show me the next level of capacity to be able to achieve this. Cause I feel like you've put this on my heart. I feel like I'm supposed to do this. And so you're the way maker and I need you to show me the way literally to make this happen. And the good news is God is faithful. He'll never leave you hanging. He, you know, he's not out to get you. He's, he's not here to play with your heart. He's not here to be like, Oh, I'm just going to dangle this dream in front of you. And then good luck. I'm going to show you zero ways of how to do this. And that's where intimacy with the Lord is so important, you guys. And so I encourage you to get in the word every day, to renew your mind, 
and to really just deepen your relationship with him as much as you can so that you know the voice of the good shepherd and another voice you won't follow, which means you won't follow the world's thoughts towards you. You won't follow other people's opinions of you. And you also won't listen to the lies that are floating in your own head, either from yourself or your enemy that are trying to reaffirm the current or maybe a previous version of you. So I'm at my destination. I'm going to go on my first mom date. Will is going to meet her first friend who's a little a month older than her. And I'll see you guys next week for next week's podcast. Hope you enjoyed.